嘿，大家好，我是李贝。<笑> OK， 学习学习课文。上次的视频学到哪儿？我忘了。啊<笑>、哦，学到“成”这个词汇，“成”。嗯， yeah， in in the textbook they use this definition. 不是，呃， in the 课文 they use this definition. But it has other definitions. I'm gonna, plum plum, uh, take a, plum. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, his meaning, G, right? Um, ah, yeah. I last time studied this, I gave you the answer. Oh, ah, write down. Ah, the passenger is what? Passenger, I don't know. Passenger, passenger. Uh, okay, this is not very helpful. <laughs> well, look at the phone. Take off. Cheng. Cheng, where are you? Uh, Cohen, your opportunity. Uh, Cohen, your opportunity is achievement, right? Um, achievement is achievement, right? Um, yeah, this is the most common, I think. 呃，乘车、乘船、呃，搭乘 ，yeah， is like to take. Yeah, usually you could say, maybe you would say 坐飞机 but you can also say 乘飞机，对吗？呃，坐船、乘船 ，it's a bit more formal. 呃 ，OK， 搭坐交通工具 ，yeah. Um. Uh, the other one. Yeah, this it's this one, right? 利用 This is the one in the in here. To take advantage of, to avail oneself of. What does that mean? Avail. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. What does avail mean? I, I don't know. Whatever that, that word avail means, it means that. <laughs> That's one of the things about textbooks. It's like here you go. Does everyone know what that word means? That English word? I don't know. Um, 利用 Uh, okay. 无隙可乘无隙可乘隙，这是缝隙，这隙对吗？这是 gap. Um, 隙空呃空隙缝隙缝隙空隙啊。I didn't realize it was fourth turn. 空隙 Is it really fourth turn? 我半信半疑。空，为什么是四声？奇怪。嗯，缝隙，因为空，空 is space， right？ 空隙，不，空 is 有空嘛？嗯，中间那个是那个，不知道空着的地方。嗯 ，OK。Means gap. So, 无隙 there is no gap. 可乘 there is no gap that's able to be 乘 that's able to be taken advantage of. 无隙可乘 Yeah, no loophole to exploit, no weakness to take advantage of. 无隙可乘 Yeah, actually, that's the first time I've run into that 乘 you. So it's kind of self-explanatory, though. 乘 Um, um, 是什么？表示利用条件。Ah,、oh, this is the definition in the textbook. It's used as a preposition. Here, it's used as a verb. And、um, what's the difference? 成人之机 Yeah, I think it's the same. The same meaning, basically. 表示利用条件 Yeah, it's basically the same meaning, just different parts of speech. Here it's used as a verb. Here it's used as a preposition.、Um, it seems like when it's used as a verb, it belongs in 成语成人之机 This is like utilize people's crises.、Um, yeah, presumably that's a very negative thing to do. Take advantage of somebody's precarious position. Yeah. <clears throat> Hmm. Okay. Um. 乘长风破麦 No, 破万里浪 Is it like a 成语 or something? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Hmm. 乘胜前进
Okay, so this is also a chong yi, right? Maybe it, it's here. It's the same me meaning, right? Like it's utilize a victory um, to advance. Advance in the quest of victory. Yeah. Utilize victory to tian jin. Tian jin. That's in the Chinese national anthem. Tian jin, tian jin. Tian jin, jin. <laughs> right? Um, to advance. So, cheng <clears throat> sheng, tian jin. Yeah, so utilize it. Um, utilize victory to advance. So these are probably the same. They're just, yeah, I, I, I don't really know if there is a difference. Chong Xu Aru. Xu, hmm. Xu is like a, a void or a something, a weakness maybe? Um, a Ru. Ru is to enter. Um, I'm not sure if I can infer the meaning of this one. <clears throat> Breaks you at a weak point. Yeah. Chong Xu Aru. So, breakthrough at a weak point, yeah. Shu is weak, rep, well, represents weak point, but it doesn't really. Hmm. Oh, Rudian. <laughs> Kong, Kong Xi. Okay. Yeah, okay. Rudian. I partially guessed correctly. Um, the other one you need to know is the mathematical one, of course. <laughs> Math, uh, it's multiplication. Um, presumably the next one. Uh, uh, for for jiao for 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 jiao for jiao for jiao the canyon. This one, I don't know. Um, where's the math one? <laughs> really? Multiply. <clears throat> yeah, wu cheng san deng yu shu. Um, why is it not in the Chinese version? Is it really not there? I mean, what am I missing? Ah, uh, here. Jin Xing Cheng Fa Yun Suan. Yeah, this is the mathematics one. It's multiplication. Yeah. Okay, 5 times 3 is 15. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, so... Dongju. If you're also studying this textbook, you need to know this. You need to know this. You mostly need to know it means uh, like to take a train, to take a whatever, <clears throat> to take a boat. <laughs> you need to know it means utilize or exploit. Chengji. Chengji is a common word. Chengji. Chengji. <clears throat> you need to know this. You seize an opp opportunity. It's like, um, yeah, you can also say Chengji Hui. Oh, um, the other one you need to know is Chen, which I think basically means the same thing. I'm not sure. Take advantage of. Chen Feng Qi Fan. Jimian Chen Ruo Maybe Cheng is just has different targets. Yeah, Biao Shi Liang Shi Ji. Yeah, what is the difference? I, I, I honestly don't know. Is that a character? Maybe that's tra traditional? <laughs> I don't know that character. I've never seen it before. Oh, you're Chen is to Chen. No. Chen Feng Qi Fan. This is Chen Ruo Qi. And this Mian is Mian Tiao, right? So eat the noodles while it's hot. So Chen Ruo Qi. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not not literally utilizing the hotness of the noodles, right? Wasyang chen jie ge hui. This is the common collocation. Chen jie hui. Ye yao cheng jie hui. Oh, oh dear. Cheng cheng jie hui or chen jie hui. Chen hao duo yi fu. What does that mean? I have n I had no idea that chen has this meaning. Well uh Okay, I don't even own a bicycle, okay? Yeah, this is the normal thing I would expect. Um kind of yeah. Yeah, Yeah, um yeah, so you're like taking advantage of how um, 
chairman. <laughs> chairman. Uh, is that the best word? It's chairman, like president of the board. Uh, director. Maybe board of directors. Chairman of the board of directors. Dong <laughs> Shi it's it's not chairman in this uh like the sense that you usually think of with China with like um I guess kind of military title or something like that, right? Uh it's uh Chen um yeah Wang Dong Chairman Chairman Wang of a board of on some committee, right? Um so you you utilize him being present at the time. Um Chen Bian, like, utilize the convenience. Chen Shi, I don't know. Chen Zhao. Chen Zhao is very common. Chen Zhao. Um, yeah, this is very common. Chen Zhao, wo lian ce bu hao. Chen Zhao qu kan kan. Um, yeah, you better, you better get in there before you're too late, right? Chen Zhao. Yeah, so this is like, maybe you're starting to look sick. You probably should go to the doctor early. Uh, in order to get treatment or before having to go, before getting worse and maybe not wanting, oh, I'm so sick, I don't want to go to the doctor, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So we should go home early because later on it's going to rain. We should utilize the zhao. <laughs> Um, what do you think the difference between Chen and Cheng is? Because I don't really know. Let's go ask HGPT. Hey. Um, when Chen and Cheng uh, <clears throat> used in prepositions to mean beyond, are they different? Okay, Chen, advantage of spirit, time or opportunity. Chen, circumstance. Of course. All right. Can you il illustrate that with examples? Examples, please. Uh, Chen Ta Bu Jui. Yeah, this is this is a really common collocation, a really co common phrase. <clears throat> yeah, you utilize him not paying attention. Uh, Liu Zolda. I slipped out while he wasn't paying attention. Ta Chen Ju Da Jia Do Mang Ju Kai Hui Toto Liu Chu Chu La. Yeah, this is basically the same as this, <laughs> except instead of Ta, it's like Da Jia, and it's they're busy doing something, some meeting relating. Okay, wait. <clears throat> Attending or holding a meeting? Yeah. Tan jia hui. Cheng zhi gong zuo ru. Mei yo, mei na ma mang. Wo qu ban gong. Wo qu ban li le yi xie shu. So, so utilizing a moment of non busyness. On the workday, on a workday, yeah. I went to sort of few, I don't know, errands. <laughs> what do you call it? Affairs, trans. Just did a few matters of work. Watch Hongji. Yeah, this is a word. Hongji. Watch Hongji. Um. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> that's confusing, isn't it? It is both Hongji uh, Hui, and it's also Hongji to take a plane. So she. It's like Cheng Chuan, but it's Cheng Ji, and Ji means Fei Ji, Cheng Fei Ji, right? Okay, I took the opportunity, so presumably there's some special opportunity right now to ask for a, for time off. <coughs> um, okay, so th this person wants time, oh, he wants time off to attend a conference. Maybe you shouldn't ask for time off, maybe... He should count it as chu chai, and then it counts as work, right? <laughs> okay. So Chen focuses on taking advantage of time or moment. So maybe... So both suggest... 
there's a fleeting opportunity. Right? Um, it won't um, be like that indefinitely. Advantages and advantageous. Advantageous situation and condition may not last indefinitely. Yeah. Honestly, I'm still not sure what the difference is. I don't think I really need to know. <laughs> I just use Chen um, when I'm speaking. Yeah, it's generally been all right, but you need to know that it exists, I think. <clears throat> Both Chung and Chen come up quite a lot. Chuan Qi, to pant. Yeah, I think of it as to pant. Chuan Qi. Um, it's a Li He Zi. It's a verb, it's a separable verb, right? Chuan Kou Qi. Yeah, that's the real thing you need to know, that it's a separable separable verb. Gan um, le a woman chuang kou qi ba. Oh, okay, so this chuang kou qi doesn't mean, oh, let's pant for a bit. It it figuratively means to take a rest. Da kou, da kou, chuan ju qi. Chuan bu guo qi lai. Yeah, chuan bu guo qi lai. It's like, oh, I can't catch my breath. Yeah. <clears throat> Chuan qi, chuan qi, yeah, figuratively meaning to rest, right? Chuan qi. Yeah, check it. Uh, 在锦江活动中，呃，短暂休息。呃，在即，呃，也得让人喘口气啊。Yeah, when it, 在即 ，what do you reckon 在即 is? 即 is 即 emergency or just like some kind of stressful situation? I don't know. Something like that. Um, we should let people um, yeah, have a breather. Right? Um, you can see where I got my examples from. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. So it means to literally pant because you're out of breath, and it means to rest, figuratively. To take a breather. Yeah. Quite like this one, because to take a breather, you say in English, and it involves breathing, right? So it's not a bad. Um, but they don't write the figurative meaning here. Yeah. The figurative meaning, I think, Actually, it comes up more often than the literal meaning. Anyway. Uh, okay, Rao Shu. Rao Shu means to forgive. Um, you're going to raise your hand and say, Li Bei, Li Bei. Wo mei jing xue guo de yuan niang ma. Yuan niang bu shi to forgive di si ma. Wo hui shuo, dui. Then she, Rao Shu is more like an official pardon in, the, in that sort of sense. Rao Shu. Um, it's, it's from, like, Yuan Yang is, is someone at the same level, right? Whereas Rao Shu is someone above you for giving you that sort of thing. That's my understanding. Rao Shu. Oh, it's there. <laughs> no! <laughs> Rao Shu. Um, okay, Quan Shu. Okay, I don't know Quan Shu. <laughs> Probably Rao Shu Di to them. Just a Quan Rong or Quan Rong the Rao Shu, de ma. Uh, gai chu fa a bu gai a bu gai yu chu fa. Oh, okay. Should be punished, but not punished. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, Yuan Yang. Yuan Yang is like. Okay, you, you you maybe don't have the position to punish someone. <laughs> Yeah, so like maybe maybe you've like pissed off the king or something like this and you are to be head to be beheaded. Um you might use this. Rao Shu. Off with his, off with his head. Off with her head. And like, oh what Ting Chou Rao Shu? Ting Chou Rao Shu Buka Rao Shu the Tall. Yeah, unforgivable mistake. It needs to be punished. Uh, 
uh, yet you can't for forgive such crimes. <clears throat> okay, so here, um, Rao Shu emphasizes the punishment. Like, so you're foregoing a punishment. Okay, that's that's a better, more crisp understanding. Let's have a word. Let's see if I get this right. And my understanding is that Rao Shu. Okay, just a minute. Rao Shu. Does it really not know Rao Shu? Right? Rao Shu. Rao Shu. Rao Shu. Shanghai. Ibande. Ibande. Oh, what me was here, man? Refers to someone who has the ability to punish someone, uh, but elects not to. And Yuenya means more to let go of grudges or something like that. Both translate to forgive in English. Okay, so let's try the off with these head example. Uh, how do I say off with his head? Uh, it's can far. Then I can no, it's can tall. Can tall. Uh, okay, far dao the guoang. What's some sure jading? And whole I'm not sure if this is quite accurate. These are very seldomly used words in my vernacular. <laughs> um, panxing. Um, chuen. Oh, qing qiu, Rao Shu. Well, Xiang. Go Wang. Then, then she go Wang. Is it Wudong Yi Zhong? Wudong Yi Zhong? Wudong Yi Zhong? This is a Cheng Yu. I think it's a HSK Cheng Yu, right? Indifferent. Uh, no, I mean, sorry. Let's just copy what I said. It's, not, it's exactly the same. Your words are very clear. You have explained the story of a bad-out king who made a cruel sentence. I use "pansing" sentence. Would you sentence someone? To be executed. Panjie. Maybe this is a better choice of words. Churen. I like this. I like this character. Chiu. Ah, is it second tone? Chiu. Churen. I like this. There's certain characters I like from the shape. Chiu is one. Do you know the word? I'm getting off topic, but you know. Shun. I just like, oh, it's a satisfying character. <laughs> Have a guess what it means. It's that bar that you put across doors. <laughs> to close them, right? Like, men is door, and Shun is like the bar. <laughs> um, the other one has to be Altu. This is oh, 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 satisfying characters. And of course, Iarasan. Iarasan. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's probably some other satisfying characters like that. Okay, Chu Ren Qing Chu Rao Shu. Then, uh, Guo Wang may or may or be da dong. Yeah, Wu Dong Yi Zhong. It's like, eh, don't care. I am the king. I am the mighty king. I am Wu Dong Yi Zhong. Ji zi jie Okay. Yeah. So, this is 
this is what I think when I think of the word Rao Shu. I think of someone about to get their head chopped off by the by being sentenced by the king, and they're like pleading with the king, Rao Shu, Rao Shu, Qing Chou Rao Shu, Rao Shu. Whereas Yuan Niang is um, uh, Yuan Niang is like, oh, he cheated on me. Uh, I don't think I'll ever forgive him. Yeah, forgive in that sense. But maybe I don't have the ability to sentence, sentence him to um, death. <laughs> Even though I may want to. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a verb meaning compel. Um, you force someone to do something um, whether or not they uh, want to do it. Um, you need to, I've, I've noted it here, you need to pay attention to the tone. Chang usually is a second tone, right? Uh, uh, it's usually second tone. Um, yeah, I remember one of the students at Nankai when I worked there. His his name was Chang. Yeah, apparently I think that's a common name actually. Chang. Um, uh, this is Chang. It's different. Um, it's Nian Chang de Chang. This is also second tone, right? Mian Chang. Mian Chang. So, what's the difference? Chang. Oh. <laughs> the difference is this is Mian Chang de Chang, Ho Po Shi de Chang. Chang Po de Chang. Okay, so in those two words, you say second tone for no obvious reason. Force, compel, strive, make an effort. Um, okay, it doesn't mean might. Um, chung, chung. It doesn't mean like strength. Well, there's a lot of meanings. Okay, I'm not going to go through all those. Mian chang he chang po. Oh, chang chiu. Chang chiu. What's chang chiu? Insist or impose. Mian chang yao chiu. Mian chang yao chiu. Yeah, you cannot impose uniformity. Maybe that's a collocation. Um, okay, I get the feeling the collocations here are pretty strong. Um, yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, you can force them to drink alcohol. You compel them to drink alcohol. I think that's okay. Um, the other word is be. You can be them and Do you know be? Be. Be. This be. Oh, <laughs> Okay. It's really, it's really interesting when you're like, oh, what's the difference between chang po and b? And you look in the dictionary, and the definition is chang po, and it's like, oh, okay. So maybe it's best I don't go and split hairs and try to find differences where there might not be differences. <laughs> um, maybe b is just like a two character chang po, a uh, uh, one character chang po. B dui fang chu shou shi. Um, this chu is like adopt, tai chu, the chu, don't matter. <clears throat> adopt a defensive position. Uh, maybe it's that. Bi moren, jiao gong. Jiao gong, I don't know this word. <laughs> Make a confession. I'm used to the word jiao dai or zi qian, zi shou. Jiao dai. Um, there's two jiao dais, but well, let's choose this one. Mm, explain make clear, but maybe this one. Oh, or this one. Confess. <laughs> or the show. Oh, this is surrender oneself. It's not necessarily a confession. 
It's to give yourself up to the authorities. Okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> Rahona. What were we talking about? Tempo. <laughs> anyway, Tempo. Um, Tempo meaning Tempo. I mean, Tempo of Fiji, Jiangluo. So compel the plane to land. Maybe Kongbu Fenzi, Tempo, Fiji, Jiangluo. Or maybe, no, oh, okay. <laughs> maybe Kongbu, Kongbu Fenzi, just a terrorist. The terrorist forced the plane to land or something. I don't know. We are Tempo, I agree with your opinion. Yeah, don't force me to agree with your um, idiot, your your idea, your standpoint, suggestion, opinion. <laughs> um, okay, so here it's more like coerce. Um, yeah, coerce. Go and idiot, ah, don't force someone to give up. So. This is a, a topic comment sentence. So this is the topic. Like personal opinions. Uh, yeah. Depends what your, your idea is. It's like, you should not murder people. Maybe you can force people to accept that. <laughs> if they don't accept that, right? Um, um, okay, so... Um, she was married off by her parents to some rich guy. Coerced. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. It's kind of like there are negative consequences if you don't do that. Um, does it mean compulsory? Does Chang Po mean compulsory to not just it's a verb right Chongpo is a verb can you give me some such contexts some such examples <clears throat> okay I uh, compulsive compulsive yeah so you must do it um maybe you'll get fired if you don't okay no this is forced this is forced labor this is not compulsive compulsory labor this is forced labor oh is it mm. Yeah. Why do they use Xingwei? Xingwei is action. Usually Xingwei refers to like personal behavior. Hmm. I don't think this is a Xingwei. Is is not Xingwei. I don't this may be a this may be a Yubing. I'm not sure. At least I wouldn't write it like that. Force labor as a punishment. <clears throat> Maybe you can just write and that, just that. You don't need the rest. <clears throat> yeah, forced labor violates human rights. That's fine. I think that's fine. And then you don't have to worry about whether or not this counts as a Xingwei or not. It's more like anyway, I don't think so. <laughs> um okay, she shaman she are Yeah. Okay, so Changpo Xing, you stick a sing at the end. In Australia they have Compulsory voting. Would this be described as Aralia um uh Chido Siton Da Shen Ju Shen Ju 
，这选举时。Okay, in Australia during elections, 人民需要投票。由于强迫性，强迫性，呃，投票政策 ，compulsory voting policy, maybe like that. So it's fine. <laughs> uh, in Australia, uh, election time, yeah, because of the c o 呃，强调了呃，人们在呃选举期间必须履行投票义义务。Yeah, okay. So, so citizens are compelled、uh, have a duty to vote in Australia. Um, yeah, 也许在这里你会举手问我，李贝，李贝，你在澳大利亚投票吗？嗯、um, ，Yeah， 我我不在在澳大利亚投票。嗯，就是永久住在中国。嗯，但是我告诉你一个我、哦、很烦人的故事。嗯，也因为我搬到中国，我我告诉澳大利亚政府我不会投票。嗯，是呃，也他们接受我以后我不会投票。这个，嗯，也我认为 OK， 这个问题就嗯解决了。啊、uh, ，不会遇到麻烦。啊、um, ，但是有一天我坐飞机，呃，在澳大利亚，嗯，也突然间，呃、uh, ，我是，也我的，我是什么？嗯、um, ，电话呢？那我不不是电话，我应该是我，也我呃，我收了一封信，就是在我朋友家。那是，就是我在澳大利亚住朋友家，我在我朋友家，嗯，他就是随机放我的，呃，呃，我的我收的信，嗯，呃，其中就是一种卡说，啊、呃，你没有呃投票，为什么呢？但是，但是因为。也、yeah, 不是，嗯，不是那个大选举，那个总统选举是当地选举，我没有投票，我不知道有这个呃选举，<笑>我就是不知不觉中住在中国，嗯，就不知道需要投票，嗯，而也没有，我没有向他们说我不会投票，嗯，所以呢，呃，那时候，呃。就是到了最后一个嗯呃时候，他们说呃如果你不回答，你需要嗯我怎么说呃 appear in court， 不是很严重的对吗 ？appear in court， 我就突我突然间就哦呃我非常呃非常非常呃呃担忧。How do you say appear in court？ 出庭对吗 ？Appear in court <咳>。呃，所以我很快就填表格，呃，寄还给他们，对吗？我说我住在中国。嗯，也不久以后，呃，我我的电话就响了，我接电话，他说，呃，你说你住在中国，你有呃证据吗？呃，你可呃有证据可以发给我吗？啊、uh, ，然后我，我拿出我的护照，嗯，没有护，现在没有护照。我拿出我的护照，拍个照，就是有呃呃那个账，对吗？嗯，也护照里有那个呃，就是出境，啊、呃，那个是账，对吗 ？The stamp， 我账，嗯 ，the stamp in my passport。How？ Do you say stamp in the sense of the stamp in my passport? 对，我就是
，我就是给他们拍个照。他说 ：“OK， 没问题。”我证明了我真的住在中国。盖章，盖章 ，OK， 耶！我护照上的盖章，耶！我就是给他们看我呃护上呃护照上的盖章。Um, he just said, "Oh, no problem, no problem." Yeah, I did not know. They sent me this, like, because I, I, I removed myself from the electoral roll, thinking I had done it. But it turns out there's multiple layers, and I need to remove myself from multiple electoral rolls. And I just did not know. And then there's compulsory voting. They, at first, they send you a fine. It's like twenty dollars. It's really nothing, um, but it's enough to get you to vote. Um, however. If you live in China and you don't realize there's these minor elections going on, you're like, "Oh, all right." You get back and they're like, "You need to go to court because you did not vote." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was very fortunate that the guy, the guy on the phone, was like, "Yeah, just just send me like the proof that you lived in China. You live in China, and we'll be done." And and that was it. So fortunately, it was pretty easy. <laughs> that was a really stressful time. Then I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Chengpo. So, Australia has a Chengpo system, right? A compulsory voting system. <laughs> um, what have I written? Me. Uh, no, this is Rao Shu. Me. Uh, Zhe Cheng. Yeah, this is to forgive, like a punishment. Maybe like kind of like am no amnesty is something else. <laughs> maybe maybe a presidential pardon. Yeah, actually, a presidential pardon would be this one. Rao Shu. It would not be Yuan Yang, do you No, oh, I better check. Yeah, this one Chu Ting, right? To appear in court. Sure, what's your truth? Presidential pardon is presidential pardon. Uh, what is it? Zhong Tong Rao Shu. So I could say, what is it? Gan En Jie, Minian, Gan En Jie, Ju. The Ju Chuantong, Chuantong, uh, Mexico Zhongtong, like, uh, a presidential pardon. Oh no, I just push it. Like, I can just show a Rao Shu. Show, no way. Uh, ba. 他给吃掉。每年感恩节，呃，据传统，美国总统饶恕的一只呃火鸡，呃，说不会把它给吃掉。Yeah. Thanksgiving tradition where the U.S. president pardons a turkey, sparing it from being eaten. Yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I hope they can never get rid of that tradition. It's like, it's like politics in America is like full of unpleasant things, if you know what I mean. And then they like forgive a turkey. It's like, yeah, <laughs> but it's kind. Of, <laughs> I think it's kind of fun. Okay, Chang Po, we did. Xu Xu, Ah Xu Xu. Um, yeah, to implement a point of shi shi. There's a few words like shi shi, uh, there's shi xing, there's shi dian, shi xian, um, cai qu, cai yong. And they're all kind of different, um, and they all vaguely mean this sort of stuff. Shi shi, maybe shi shi and shi xing are pretty much the same. Shi shi. Shi shi. Mm. 
呃、uh, ，OK， 实际，呃，实际实行啊 ，There's also this 实行，实行，对，实行 and 实行，实<笑>行<笑>。我们要疯了，这中文真的有这些词汇。实时，嗯、uh, ，No， 不是实时，不是，不是实时，是实行。嗯、um,。实行，实行，还有实行，实施、实行、实行、实行和实行。Re realistically, well, would anyone even notice? What's the difference? <coughs> 实行 ，OK， 用行动去实现 ，OK， so use action to implement or achieve， and 实施，呃，实际实行 ，and what is 实行？啊，那按照某种办法，呃，或方案去实行，呃、uh, ，Yeah， all right， this。This one, you're kind of enacting something that's probably agreed on beforehand by a committee. It seems like. Shu shu put into effect. So is that one? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Do you reckon Chinese people can tell them apart? Sometimes you find they, it, the the difference is too subtle. <laughs> um, shu shu, uh, this decision, uh, decision. 嗯、um, ，决在减轻，居民 ，no， 农民，农民负担。<laughs> My writing is rather small in it. 实施这种政策 ，Okay, so this is like, um, it's kind of like 采取，采取政策。啊，采取 is to adopt a policy. And after Tai Chuing Jung Ta, you Shi Shi Jung Ta, right? So first you、um, adopt a policy and then you enact a policy.、Uh, you implement a policy. Yeah, maybe Tai Chu is more like enact. Consider it accepted. Hmm.、Um, oh, there's one other as well. Ju Xing. Is that the same? I really don't know the juicing. Um, juicing, 命令 juicing. Uh, 第二号方案 the number two policy. Juicing, 纪律 juicing, 命令 juicing. Carry out. Yeah, I have no real idea. <laughs> That's too hard. Um, 执行执行执行嗯，太多了。嗯、um, ，OK， 不料，嗯、um, ，maybe you know this character 料 from words such as 材料 or 呃、uh, 料理。嗯、um, ，it doesn't mean either of those. This 料料 in kind of means expected. So 不料 is unex well, it negates the 料 Um, it's used as this kind of conjunction 不料 Maybe it's better called an adverbial, <laughs>、um, a, a generalized adverb, an adverb that applies to the whole sentence or the whole clause. <laughs> 我正想叫你不料，呃，想你来了。That's maybe not the best sentence ever. It's like when I went to look for you,、um, yeah, you unexpectedly, to my surprise,、um, appeared. 呃，说曹操，曹操就到，对吗？不料，嗯，不料，嗯 ，Yeah, there's a whole bunch of ways of saying this as well. So we'll get to those in a minute. Um, yeah, 没有一料到 ，Yeah, 没 you can you can say this as well as well. 没有一料到 ，Yeah, you can just say this. Um, that's one of the ways of saying it, right? 嗯，呃，用在呃后一本分句的开头表示转折
，呃，长根、却、近、到等副词连用。Are we going to study this in a minute? Just a minute. 成绩不料 ，Yeah, this is we're going to study this later on. So maybe we'll postpone our study of this until later on. Um. Yeah, there's a few words that you need to know here. Mei liao dao and things like chu hu yi liao, chu hu yi liao, chu hu yi liao, this sort of thing. Um. Yeah. We'll study it more properly when we get to the grammar section. Yeah. Okay. Next one. 猛烈，猛 is fierce. 烈 also fierce, right? Fierce. <laughs> 猛烈。呃、uh, ，you probably know 热烈，热烈欢迎。Yeah, 热烈欢迎。Hmm, 热烈欢迎 just warm welcome, right? Hmm, it's this 烈，猛烈。We can look. 烈 means by itself. Does it mean fierce? 猛 means fierce by itself. 猛烈。<laughs> okay, where do I even begin? It seems like it, one of its meanings is fierce. Okay, I'll accept that. 猛烈的烈的一个意思，它的一个意思，还有多余一个意思。它的意思之一就是猛烈。Um, adjective. Yes, 猛烈的风暴 Yes, storm. 呃，发动 No, 发动猛烈的进攻 Um, 发动 is to like initiate or something. 发动猛烈的进攻 A fierce attack. A fierce yeah attack. Um, yeah. Next, 子弹子弹 is bullet. It means exactly what you think it means. It means bullet. I don't think we need to know anything more than that. Ah,、oh, uh, hmm. What are those things on the movie? When you watch a movie on Chinese,、um, on Chinese、uh, platforms, I think it's like so. It involves this word. What are those messages called on、um, on Chinese platforms when you're watching a movie and it? Uh, rapidly scrolls from right to left. Ah,、uh, 弹幕 this one. 弹幕 yeah, 弹幕 I'm going to jot that down. 弹幕 Have you ever have you ever used like a Chinese platform? Um, there's a whole bunch of them. Tongxin, Shipping, um, something like that. <clears throat> Yeah, you can put Dan Mo on. Don't put Dan Mo on. And if you put Dan Mo on, the you get comments from users, and they just scroll across the screen and obstruct your view of the movie. Um, maybe some people like that. Maybe some people don't. From yeah. Um, I'm gonna jot that down. Actually, that's probably the only thing beyond this you need to. Ah,、oh, it's Dan. Um, oh, okay.、Uh, there is something else actually. The dan, dan mu. Let me check the mu. Dan mu, dan mu. That's that's an important word to use. It's probably not in the HSK vocabulary, but you will need it for everyday life. Like. <laughs> If you want to ask your friends, what's up? Hello, ask your Chinese friend. Hmm, Chinese 朋友呃，请帮我一个忙。呃，这些呃，弹幕我怎么关掉？太讨厌了。就是分散我的注意力，我过度呃注意他们说的嗯说的废话，而不注意电影。嗯。Okay. The other thing, the other word you're—I think it is a HSK word—but you need to know is 
呃，导弹，导弹 ，and it's related. Um, I shouldn't have opened up ChatGPT. I should have just shown you on here. 导弹 I think it's a HSK word. I remember it. It's a bit of a weird one to include on the HSK. <clears throat> yeah, 导 is to guide. 弹 is kind of this 子弹的弹 right? <clears throat> Um, yeah, guided, well, bullet, but guided missile, <laughs> guided projectile. Okay. Um, yeah, what are the what are unguided missiles called? Ballistic missiles. What is a ballistic missile called? Yeah, let's ask ChatGPT that. What is uh, how do you spell ballistic? Like that. Um. Uh. Okay. 弹道导弹 What is 弹道弹道 Trajectory ballistic curve 导弹 Okay. So 导弹 means guided missile, but 弹道 is it's guided maybe at the start of its launch, and then it just follows that launch. Um. Okay. Oh, the other. Th Actually, there, there is a lot more about this word that. Um. Um. The other thing you need to know about this word. There's more about this than I was expecting. But dan is a doin. Tan tin. Yeah, it's the same character here. The dan. Um, bullet and tan tin to play the tin. Um, the tin's like a Chinese musical instrument. Um, it's the same character, but they're totally different words. So don't get them confused. But you probably won't. Okay, mian shi. Um, yeah, I've written a few synonyms here. Tin shi xiao kan and mao shi, if I remember correctly. Mian shi to look down upon, and these are very. Um, is it mao shi? Mao shi si shen de ma. What? Then what is it? Meow. Oh, bush and meow. You can see I put the pin in there. It's like last time I had trouble with this. Meow. Yeah, I don't really know the difference between these words. Meow. To it's to look down upon. It's like it's like oh, you you have you think this person is beneath you. The same with 轻视小看 and 藐视 they all have that meaning. I really don't know the difference.、Um, and in my reading, I don't often encounter these. When I encounter them, they use fairly,、um, fairly metaphorically, like in this text.、Um, yeah. So I don't know. I, I tend to use 轻视 look down upon because. Not for not for any real reason, because I think mia and miao are just hard to handwrite, and I tend to handwrite. <clears throat> yeah, ting shi I can handwrite. Um, kambuti. Yeah, kambuti is yet another one you need to know. Kambuti, kambuti. Also, look down upon. Um, show contempt for. Uh, I don't know. Xiao kan. Underestimate, but not necessarily. It's not necessarily an inaccurate thing. You estimate someone low at a low level. It may be because they are at a low level.、Um, yeah, be little looked down upon. It does come with negative connotations. Miao, miao shi. Despise, despise. Miao shi fa, no miao shi fa ting fei. Contempt of court. All right. And what was the other one? I want to look up Cambodia. Cambodia. Yeah, I'll also jot down. Do I have a pink pen? 
I do not have a pink pin. I'll just put it here in black. Pen. Ooh. Tea. Pambu tea. I don't know. They all, they all mean basically the same thing to me. Um, if there's any, uh, if there's any uh, important difference, I'm not aware of it. Is there any important difference between what are they? Xiao Kan, Xiao Kan, Qing Shi, Xiao Kan, Qing Shi, and then Mie Shi. I think they're all meow oh shit. Can go tea. Very, very similar. Which response do you prefer? Subtle differences. Maybe this one with the bold and the proper formatting. But is the content any better? This is distracting. Okay, I'm just going to click that so I can move on with life. Look down upon lack of awareness or understanding. Minor or less severe form. More deliberate, arrogant attitude of belittlement. Strong sense of disrespect in school. Okay. Belittling or treatment to stay in this. So it's just different degrees, right? <clears throat> All right. So that one's the least. That one's the least belittling. And these are kind of strong. And that one is somewhere in between, I think. <clears throat> okay, that'll do. That's my understanding for now. And it will improve over time as I read. <clears throat> Um, Yan Guang. Um, Yan Guang. Okay, I've crossed out look in one's eyes. Um, Yan Guang. Why have I done that? I've done that because a teacher told me to do that. Um, or maybe maybe the teacher's definition was not consistent. Yan Guang. I think it's used metaphorically. Something like it means like potential, maybe. What was this one? I side point of view. Mm, okay, looking. Yeah, all right. So I'm not strong on this. Yan Guang, Shi Xian, Di Gi Se Shi Xian. Shi Xian is Line of sight. Right. Shi, sight. Xian, line. Sight line. <laughs> line of sight. The other is the Guancha, the Bie, Shu, the Nang Li, Jian, Jian Shi, Jian Shi. So this is the able to detect the differences between things. Um, Yan Guang, Duan, Duan Tian. This is short sighted, is it? Is that a Chengyu? Short-sighted. Hmm. Short-sighted in the non-literal sense. Uh, actually, like it's not related to your actual vision. It's not like, oh, I, you're short-sighted, you should wear glasses. It's you're short-sighted, you should learn more, right? Tashi, 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 no, ta iba xinren yo yangwa. Iba, Iba. Oh, okay. Iba. Yeah, I think I've studied this word before. I just forgot. Iba, Xinren, Yo, Yan Guang. But this promote is more like advocated. Yo, Yan Guang. Okay. Guan Dian Kanfa. Okay, so clearly when I've crossed this out, it just doesn't have that meaning. The look in one's eyes. Your there's a word. It's yan su them. No, yan su. 
Oh, this is this is a bit different, isn't it? Meaningful glance. Okay, so this pertains to um, kind of uh, like facial expressions that carry some kind of connotation, um, like a wink or a cringe or something like that. Maybe we'll have a look at images. Uh, this one. Yen so. No. Yen so. Okay, so. What is this? Is this the name of the album or something? <laughs> I wonder. Let's put something like. Um, what is a type of yen so? Qing mie. Ah. Uh, that's another one, isn't it? Qing mie. <laughs> I just realized. Qing mie de yan so. Uh, qing mie de. Yeah. It's yet another word that has the same meaning as those other ones. <laughs> um, okay. Qi guai. Qi guai de yan so. <laughs> okay. You no. Why I Why am I not seeing yan so? Oh, the other one, maybe I'm, okay, again, so is meaningful look <laughs> in this, in, but although we have not been successful at finding a good example, but the other one is lian so, lian so, uh, can lian so, what is lian so, complexion look, maybe that's the word that means look in one's eye. What would be uh, an appropriate Chinese phrase for the look in one, the look in one's eyes? Yeah. <laughs> Yan Shen. Okay. Yeah. Yan Shen. There's a few words like this, eh? Hey? Um, so we got yen, yen shen, yen so. No, <laughs> three times. Yen so, uh, yen guang, and lian so. So they're all referring to facial expressions and some traits of someone's face. However, they refer to different things. And I don't think English has words that differentiate them in the same way. <laughs> Yan Shen um, refers to the expression of demeanor conveyed through eyes. Yeah. So if we go back, <coughs> the crossed out word this word should be yan shen yan shen um, I'm guessing it doesn't mean I god <laughs> this could mean god right I'm guessing it doesn't mean I god um, it's well spirit mind air energy look expression yeah eye expression um, okay Yan so. This time speaks the first to signals or hints. Okay, so. How? Yan guang. Yan guang is the one in the textbook. Gaze or vision. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Um, so, you know the concept of the male gaze. Um, this is like. I don't know. When you're a woman, you walk around um, and men stare at you all the time. You really feel uncomfortable. Um, um, you, you don't know what they're going to do, and you're just like, oh, yeah, you're, um, the male gaze. I think that's Yan Guang. I think that's that one. Lian So. this So is Lian So. Metaphorically describes someone's facial expression or mood. Ah, okay. 
All right, so let's... Um, all right, I'm going to need some examples. I'm going to need some examples, please. Yanshen, Tade Yanshen, Shen Chen are Fu Yo Biao Qing. Okay, his gaze in the sense that the the look on his face. Yeah, his the look on his face is deep and expressive. Yan So Taiyong Yan So Shi Yi Wo Bu Yao Shu Tai Duo. Oh okay, so this could be like um, okay, maybe she's the boss at a company, and I'm saying the wrong thing, and she gives me a, a like a grimace or some kind of. Yeah, and so she's hinting at him, or hinting at me, no, hinting at me, um, hinting at war. Stop speaking with her gaze, with her eyes. Yan um, Guang. Um, yeah, this is why I said potential, because this is what I encounter. 独特的阳光. Foresight is a better word. Foresight. Okay, this is a good example, I think. Foresight. Oh, Okay, so it's Lian Su Tang Bai. So his face is pale. Uh, how would you you translate the male gaze? Nan Xing Ming Shi. Oh, okay, it's another one again. Ming Shi. Ming Shi is to is to stare at. Oh, this term is in feminist theory, describes the way which visual arts and oh, it's not what I thought. From a heterosexual male perspective, really? Is that really the definition? It's totally different to what I thought. Okay, so this is a technical term. Oh, the male angle. Oh, okay, so it's not what I thought. It's not literally a gaze. It's how things are interpreted through um, like a male lens. Like, yeah, so researchers uh, maybe studying something. Yeah, all right, it wasn't what I thought. Li Lun Zhong, uh visual arts, visual arts. What is this? Nan Yi Xing Lian. Oh, Yi Xing Lian. Um yeah, heterosexual Nan Yi Xing Lian Jura Jiao Du. Um Okay. It's basically what ChatGPT said. And I'm, I'm I'm amazed, it's not what I thought. Huh. Alright. Anyway. What was I saying? So let's go back. Can it mean... Um, okay, what would you explain? How would you explain gaze in the sense of someone uncomfortably staring at you? No, 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 no. In Chinese. Ming shi, zhu shi. All right. So this gaze is yet another word. Ming shi. 
她突然凝视着我好一会儿。Yeah, she stared stared at me for quite a while. 嗯，让我感到有呃有点尴尬。注视，注视，注视也有 gaze。嗯， usually I encounter 注视 in situations where it's like monitor, it's like it's part of your job or something. Um, hmm. All right, so let's go back and study this one in particular because there's too many other words that, to study them all. Let's、uh, go back to that and study it in depth. Um, Yang Guang, the little translation of Yang Guang efficient gaze. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Figurative meaning. You didn't give me an example of literal meaning. Maybe there aren't examples where it literally means this way of looking at things. Yeah, that's not a bad translation. Ah, he has a very unique view. Ah, always seeing the problem. Ah, he has a very unique view. Ah, always seeing the problem. Ah, he has a very unique view. And this vision doesn't literally mean doesn't relate to sight, does it? And this doesn't relate to sight either. Ah, 这位企业家的眼光很敏锐 Again, yeah, vision, foresight. Yeah, that's not too bad. Foresight, in insight. It's vision in the non-vision sense, in the non-eyesight sense. <laughs> 描述，呃，人们对事物的看法、判断，嗯、um, ，洞察力。What is 洞察力 ？Inside. Wait, is this the definition? What? Is, um, this is not an example sentence. You've just switched to Chinese. You're being inconsistent here. Ah,、uh, okay. Ah,、uh, 他的眼光很独特。Where is 阳光 here? 阳光，呃，宽，那开阔的阳光 ，broad vision. So it's vision in the non-sight sense. That's how I'm understanding it. I'm understanding it as vision in the non-sight sense. Yeah. Okay. I think that's a reasonable understanding. Vision in the non-sight sense. Yeah. Vision for the future. That sort of thing. Okay. And let's go back. Yeah. So this definitely is wrong. Yeah. I'm pretty sure my teacher told me to do this. <laughs> yeah. Take this. Cross it out. Okay. It's wrong. Um, this is a Yan Shen.、Um, Yan Guang is. I'll jot this down for you. Where I, I don't have room. <laughs>、uh, I've copied down definitions here in the past. Yan Guang vision and like for the future, etc. Vision in the sense of envisage, envisage. Yeah.、Um, hold on. Is it vision for the future? Is would or vision for the future? Ah,、uh, 对未来的眼光，未来的眼光。Okay, that's good. Um, and uh, envisage. How would envisage be translated? 
Translated, translated in a e in visit or shall I get in? So, Xiang Wang. No, Xiao Xiang is this is a, a magic? Yeah, I guess if envisage, imagine, but you can envisage something in the present as well. Woman Xiao. Uh, mm. Okay, uh, this is a noun, is it not? It's a verb. Oh, it's also a verb. Uh, marketplace. Yeah, uh, or mar marketplace in the sense of market, <laughs> um, the market. Um, yeah, I don't often use study finance and so on, so you know. Uh, 公司正在展望新的市场机会. This is look ahead to envisage. What if I, I envisage... What can I envisage? I envisage my novel, something like that. Uh, my, the, envisage my novel. No. I envisage a scene from this is this is still imagine, isn't it? Envisage. I like the word envisage. It's an underutilized word in English. Envisage. Yeah. All right. I'm going to move on. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. We'll probably be here all actually. I say it like, like there's any chance of me doing something other than studying. <laughs> well, I'm going to be here all day. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be here all day. Wait, that sounds all right, though. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to stop having fun. Otherwise, we'll be having fun all day. It's like, wait, is that a bad thing? <laughs> Yang Guang. Yeah, ding, ding, to stare. Um, there's a few synonyms. Ding, ding, to. Okay, first, yeah, Ding Zhu. Um, Ding Zhu, you need to know this. Ding. Yeah, it's to stare at, to gaze at. Yeah, it's like your eyes are unwavering looking at something. Mu Guang. Mu Guang, Jiu Jiu de, and Ji Dong, Zai Yi Dian Shang, Zhu Shi. Yeah, focus. Um, it could be a good thing, but usually it's a bad thing. It's like it makes people uncomfortable, right? Liang Yan Ju Ding Ji Hei Ban. Yeah. So two eyes directly staring at the blackboard. Ding Ju Lai Ren Zai Xi Da. No. Lai Ren Zi Xi Da Liang. Yeah. So you stare at them and size them up and maybe make them uncomfortable. Um Verb, verb. Um the other one you need to know is dung dung ji. Is it this one? No, it's it's not that one, it has eyes. Uh I didn't yeah, alright, that worked. Dung session. Yeah, no, I want that one. Dung ji. Um, okay, so it can mean stare, but it can also mean to open wide your eyes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's not just stare, but it's glance. Mm. Mm. Giving him a greasy. The people in, in non-Australian countries say to give someone a greasy. I don't know. Is that, is that popular outside of Australia? She gave him a greasy. Do you say that outside of Australia? She gave him a greasy. Yeah, this is like... <laughs> okay, you don't have to use your fingers to do this. I'm just like uh, ex explaining the point, but... Yeah. Rang Tabu Jerapushufu. 
，哦，干嘛呀？我发现什么错？嗯 ，What happens？ 嗯、um, ，OK。I think that's okay. It's very, very. It's quite similar to the English word stare. It's a relatively rare word. Um, yeah, I don't see it that often. You need to know ding zhu and ding zhu, and that's about it. Um, no, I don't think I can't think of anything else that needs knowing. But no. Yeah, fenu. I got in trouble with this the word the other day. My teacher said I used it wrong. It's an adjective, and I tried to use it as a noun. If you want the noun, you need to use. Um, uh, is it nu qi? Nu qi. Yeah, fen fenu de qing xu nu qi. Oh, actually, I can just click that. <laughs> no, adjective. Yeah, I use it in my writing, writing as a noun, and I got my teacher said no, no, that is wrong. Uh, I kind of felt a bit embarrassed because I'm usually pretty good with that sort of stuff. Hmm. Okay, Fei Chang Cheng Qi. Yeah, <laughs> you can also write Fei Chang Cheng uh, Fei Chang Cheng Qi. As well, this is what? Oh, this is you should not write it like that. Uh, 愤怒呃，斥责敌人的呃罪行。斥责 is like reprimand, right? 斥责 rep yeah, all right. 敌人 the enemy's criminal behavior. 愤怒的烈火呃，在嗯，在胸中燃烧。That's <laughs> really expressive and vivid language. Um, yeah, 他的行为让我愤怒，让我愤怒。Okay, you can say that. 让我愤怒，十分愤怒。Yeah, actually, yeah, 十分愤怒。Extremely angry. Okay, that's okay. Next, 愚蠢。啊，愚蠢。It's adjective. It means foolish, stupid. It sounds a bit, I don't know, fancy. I usually say "ben," um, "ben," such a "ben" that, um, what "ben"? That sort of thing. Yuchun is a bit fancy, right? Yuchun. I don't know because it uses such complicated words. It sounds a little fancy to me. Yuchun. Stupid. I don't know if my impression is correct. <laughs> I tend to just use "bent," or maybe a better word is "yoju." Yoju, like it's childish, but it means more like juvenile or like like unadult, like "yoju" de "yoju" ke xiao, ah "yoju" de xiang fa. Yeah, maybe someone. 那个人放屁了，哈、哦，太好笑了，哇、哦！然后你呃，旁边的人说，哎，你太幼稚了。嗯<笑>、um, ，maybe 幼幼稚 is more precise in a lot of in a lot of circumstances than 愚蠢。愚蠢 ，yeah， 无理。嗯、um, ，do you know the 成语“愚公移山”？愚公。移山 ，this is that you. 愚公移山 ，um the foolish old man who moved mountains. Do you know the story? Uh, 很久很久以前有一个人，哦，他有有名字吗 ？No, 没有，他是老人。他出门，出门以后发现，哦，我家前面。有两座山，两座大山，这怎么可能的？我应该移动他们，嗯，帮他们搬到另外一个地方，呃，那样我可以享受风景。所以他呃拿起了铲子，还是挖个挖个，呃，挖个不停。但是呃，周围的人就。讽刺他，叫
呃，也嘲笑他说：“你永远不会呃呃挖掉两座山，对不对？”其实他们说的是对的，对吗？认为他们他很愚蠢，对吗？耶、yeah. ，但是呃，他呃，他那个人很有毅力。嗯，他说我嗯，我死了有儿子，儿子死了有孙子，孙子死了等等等等。嗯，耶、yeah. ，嗯，如果我没有我没有放弃，我呃，迟早会获得成功。嗯，是的。但是不是在他生活中？嗯，也，当然，最好的方法就是搬家，或者不在乎，或者爬山，就够就够了。嗯，好。呃，下一个，家伙，野家伙。Um, this comes with a slightly negative connotation in my experience. Jaho, um, fellow chap guy. Slightly, it's like, um, yeah, it's I, 贬义词 Yeah, I did write it there in the past. It's slightly negative. It's not strongly negative. <laughs> 家伙，嗯、um, ，举 no this one 举人，嗯，呃 ，OK， 含灭世和 what is that 邪血意 ，yes 邪血意，嗯、um, ，it is 灭世 ，it's it's a negative word， but a lot of the time it is jokingly used。this lad， 嗯、um, ，这家伙啊不简单。Uh, 那家伙，呃、uh, ，不是好人。Yeah, here it's definitely negative. Um, okay, so maybe it's more negative than I thought, but most of the time it's not used literally. Maybe it's because it's so negative that it's obviously obviously being used hyperbolically. Like you don't really mean this person's um <laughs> a bad person. Um, 火 can be used as a measure word here. 呃，进来了一伙儿学生。This whore is like a group of people, right? 大伙儿，大伙儿的伙儿，对吗？呃，三个一群，五个一伙儿。I don't know what that means. The other one you need to know is 合伙。嗯、um, ，我们 partnership is this whore， 合伙。呃，结成相对固定的伙伴。Yeah, 伙伴 is not a problem, right? 伙伴关系。特别伙伴，<笑>伙伴 is partner. Uh, it can refer to like business partner, and yeah, like in English, it can also refer to romantic partner. But it's kind of I may, right? It's unspecific. Why can I not click on it? 伙伴，合伙 is to form a partnership, and 伙伴。Yeah. Okay. Here it's saying, like both characters have ren. Tongban, tongban, tongban is like companion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. There you go. A woman is a 共事多年的老伙伴 Okay. 老伙伴老呃伙伴 It's a person though. Um. 老伙伴 is an old companion, old partner. 伙伴 I think it can mean like 伴侣 That's another one, isn't it? Oh, but it's ban nu. Ban nu is kind of like romantic partner in particular. Mate, yeah, mate. 生活伴侣，呃，终身伴侣。嗯，伙伴。Yeah, let's ask ChatGPT. Does 伙伴 can 伙伴嗯 can 伙伴 both mean romantic and non-romantic partner? I think it can. 伙伴。Yeah. 
Yeah, this is how I feel. It's deliberately vague. This is my partner. Yeah, it's like, okay, it could be your partner in, <laughs> I don't know, in all sorts of different contexts. Um, romantic partner, business partner, any type. Yeah. Okay. Try. Uh, no, cool. Cool. Cool is detestable. Um, shush. <laughs> Don't mind. Yeah, uh, hateful is wrong. It's detestable. Hate. Hateful. Or maybe maybe the author thought hateful meant full of hate or something. I don't know. Hateful. That's what it means, doesn't it? Hateful. No, it's detestable. It's you towards some, something else um, detest it. it. Or maybe people in general towards something find it detestable. Maybe like littering. Um, just a sweeping wrong lady. The cold the same way. Do you think, right? Maybe that's too strong a word for littering. Um, I'm practicing cool. It's an adjective. Um, would you use it like sweeping? Um, sweeping room. Lady, she cool the same way. I'm tempted to think maybe cool is a bit strong here. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> a bit strong. Uh, All right. What kinds... So it's a very strong kind of... Um, what kinds of... In way would be considered... Oh, yeah, so it'd have to be some kind of really negative way. Okay, criminal behavior is cool. Despicable. Um, oh, what's the? Okay, we'll go back. Despicable me. You know the movie? Tipian Xinwei. Um, Nui Dai Xinwei. So Tipian fraud, fraud, um, abuse. Nui Dai. Yeah, like child abuse. Um, Bei Xin, Bei Xin Qi the Xinwei. What's his treacherous behavior? Breaking trust and TE, abandoning faith, right? E, yeah. Uh, discrimination, or uh, This is hatred, right? Yeah, it's just hatred in general. Uh, corruption. What's the movie title? How do you spell despicable? It's with an I, isn't it? Despicable me. No, it's with an E. Despicable me. In uh, Chinese. Oh, it's Bi Bei, is it not? Baby. <laughs> no, my god, my tone's totally wrong. Baby. Baby the war. Baby. So, baby and cool, uh, somewhat, somewhat, baby, cool. What do you think? Baby, cool. Strong negative judgment. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay, cool. Ling Ren Yao Yao Wu. Okay, Ling Ren Yao Wu. Yeah, I get the feeling it's not just a personal judgment, it's you're judging on behalf of other people. So, someone uh, like a scammer or something, like you would judge that, like, people would generally accept that this person is mm, evil or detestable. Okay, next. Shra. Not to be confused with Yao, which is written very similar. Shra. 
Do you know, you know the difference, right? Shra. Yo, yo, the top uh, particle is... Uh, what is it? Xi? <laughs> xi feng de xi? But written in a different style. Um, this is uh, Shra. Here the top is written R. Um, Jin R de R. The R tier de R. Mm. Shra. Um, shra. Shra comes up usually in one Shra. This is the most common, I think, one Shra. It means to play. Hai zi dai wan Shra. Mei wen ti. This is a perfectly good sentence. Hai zi dai wan Shra. Mei or negative connotations. But in other contexts, Shra. Shra uh, shima Shra. In other contexts, it's negative. Shra. No, I can't remember. Um, it means like to it play games in the sense of tricking someone and that sort of thing. Sha. Yeah, one sha. Yeah, I think this is the most common. It's not a problem. One sha. It's a Something like to torment or tease or something. Yeah. Shoren shua no. Shua xiao. Yeah. So these come with negative connotations. Um, bai nong zhi war biao yan. These are really quite different words, aren't they? Um, okay. Shua dao nong peng. Um, so this is like children's like, yes, I am a mighty soldier. Yes, I am also a mighty soldier. Something like that, I think. Shua Long Dong. This is a game, is it not? Long Dong. What is Long Dong? I don't know. What do you reckon this means? Dragon Dance? Okay, I have to figure out what Dragon Dance means because that sounds awesome. I'm going to be honest. That just sounds totally awesome. <laughs> what? Shra. Shra. Long. Shra long, Shama. What's the dragon dance? Oh, this is dragon dance. Okay, Shra long dong. Dragon lantern. Oh, this is long dong. I have no idea. I feel like I should know that. It's part of my cultural education. I should know what a uh, long dung is. <laughs> it is pretty awesome, though. Um, okay, shua long dung. I don't think I've ever seen it, though. Have I seen it? I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever seen it. Wang mei o qi nian kan dao ren shua long dung. Yes, you twenty are quite all. Okay, I'll put it on. Okay, other next we will go back here, and uh, what's this one? Shu Jian Mai Nong Mai Nong Hmm Du Han Bian Mai Nong is betray, sell out, right? Shua Shou Wan Shua Gu. To no shua hua to I have no idea shua hua to play tricks yeah I think it's used very colloquially it's shua pi qi really shua fa pi qi di si ling shua tai du shua wei feng There is a very common phrase I haven't seen yet. Shua, shua shema. Maybe all my Chinese viewers are thinking, it's this, it's this, it's this. And I'm, I'm like, what is it? I can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah. 
stay in the corner. This is not a problem. This is not negative even in the slightest. It's probably positive, if anything. <laughs> yeah, I've encountered this one before. Yeah, xiao tongming is actually a word. Let's look up xiao tongming. This is like xiao tongming, petty trick. Okay. So if you ever want to annoy a mathematician, ask them this question. Uh, what is 3099 plus one? And they'll be like, wait, I'm going to have to think about that. <laughs> and then... Okay, some of them are going to be like um, 4,000, and then you're going to be like, no, you are wrong. I have tricked you. You have fallen into my cunning plan. And and others are going to be like, hmm. And then a moment later say 3,100. <laughs> hmm. You just, 3,099. In, in English, you don't... Um, you don't have a placer that represents the thousands digit. So you kind of may not notice it. 3,099 plus one. Go ask people that in English. What's 3,099 plus one? And, and you think a mathematician will be able to get a plus one. <laughs> What's that? What is a number plus one? And it's an honest question as well. <laughs> This is don't be such a baby. It's like don't be like a baby and get angry all the time or something like that. Mm. Oh, this one. This one I've, I've used. Play tricks. I've encountered that one before. Um, Shua Liu Meng. Yeah, this one. Shua Liu Meng. Let's look at this one. This is the one I was thinking, I think. Shua Liu Meng. But I didn't want to say it wrong. Shua Liu Meng. Maybe this is someone who's doing things they should not do. Uh, take liberties with women. Yeah. Shua Liu Meng. Shua Liu Meng. Liu Meng is like hoodlum or something. Shua Liu Meng. Yeah. Shua Liu Meng. Um, maybe I don't want to go through these images. They're not very pleasant, are they? Uh, yeah, uh, maybe I shouldn't read that. Uh, all right, um, this isn't helping, so I will not look at these. Um, okay. Yeah, it seems shua, shua shima, um, is like nong. It's kind of like this, this verb, unspecific verb, but this verb contains uh, negative connotations. No, I, th I think of nong as an unspecific verb, kind of like to do. Um, no, <laughs> it's the verb you use when you don't know what verb to use. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes you don't, you don't know why. Like maybe your TV is broken, but you don't know what caused it to be broken. Right? So sometimes you should use nong. Um, shua seems a little bit like that, but with a n negative connotation. Hmm. Oh, shua liu, ma, liu mang. Maybe this is where I saw it before. Shua liu mang. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. Oh, I've studied this text repeatedly. So obviously I remember it from here. It's just like, oh, what's that? Was shua liu mang. Yeah, shua liu mang. <laughs> Liu Meng is rogue. It's like an evildoer or a bad doer. It's not that strong, but it's not a great thing either. It's certainly negative. Um, Xiao Liu Meng da sui le chuang hu. Yeah. So the the little hoodlum broke the window. Nan ren zai huo che shang dui ta shua Liu Meng. Okay, so 
也耍流，对他耍流氓。So there's so there's a man or or men on the train and they're harassing a woman. Um, yeah, it's not a good word. Uh, 足球流氓 Oh, this is football hooligans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's look at that one. 足球流氓 Football football hooligans. Uh, 足球流氓 Yeah, fo football hooligans. Yeah, I think this is a very English thing. <laughs> um. There's an awful lot of English flags. Yeah, English flags. Oh, that's the British flag. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> 足球流氓，流氓，他们是流氓，他们合伙，呃，合伙，合伙，对吗？看起来合伙。耍流氓 ，up to no good. They're upset that their footy team lost. Bien, um, bien is flat. It's an adjective. Um, bien. Um, yeah. Okay. So you, there is what I encounter in China is bien. Uh, let me get this right. This one, bian nao dai, bian nao dai. I think Chinese people tend to sleep on hard pillows, so their their skull kind of flattens. <laughs> yeah, like this, bian nao dai. Whereas I have a yuan nao dai. I don't know if you can see yuan nao dai. Yuan nao dai. Uh, um, okay, maybe maybe this is a less common phrase. Yeah, no, don't. <laughs> yeah, this is like flat skull. Maybe it's mostly during. Well, I didn't see. What is this? Yeah, no, don't. Yeah, here you can see. Yeah, no, don't. Yeah, no, don't. Let's click on it and see what comes up. Wait, shall Lao Yi Bei? I like to give a baby. Shoulders, head, shoulders, head. Yeah. Uh, is it right? Uh, is it right? Uh, growing up, I learned what is it? Destroy, 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 Those red pillars, they have this kind of attractiveness index. That's the Chinese version of it. Um, <laughs> oh no, in red pills, they have social market value, right? Not exactly the same. This is attractiveness index. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend using such words. It's very superficial. Um, okay, 别脑袋，别脑袋。Yeah. Yeah, it's really quite common, actually. It seems. Let's have a click on this picture. Uh, 从头顶，呃、uh, ，往下看。Oh, different angles. 正常，嗯，偏头。Oh, this is the just normal, uh, different skull shapes. Okay, they're not emphasizing 偏脑袋。偏头，偏头，圆头。Is it, this is in artwork, is it? This is art, is it? This is not a photo. This is art. <laughs> uh, Lauren, fei gei hai zhe shui shui bian tou. Maybe I should learn this word. Shui bian tou. <laughs> Maybe it's in the past. Shui bian tou. Shui bian tou. Uh, okay. Uh, bian tou bao bao. Um, bien tou bao bao. Okay, yeah. Yuan yuan tou bien tou. Yeah, all right. Maybe this is one of these beauty standards things. 
Um, okay, where are we? This one. Okay. Bien. Flat, is there anything else you need to know about Bien? I can't think. Bien. Is there a two? Oh, not that bin. One of the hardest things is getting these characters confused. There's so many characters. Uh, bin. It's an adjective means flat, and that's it. So the on the meaning side, it's relatively easy. Ah, oh, this is a common collocation. Ya bin. Yeah, press flat. Um, ya bin. What a I don't think is literally your girl beats your bien Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. If you have a not like if you live in China, people are going to con comment on your nose. Um, apparently that's a big deal here. Uh, <laughs> I think it just means this, like flat nose. Yeah. And people will go and get cosmetic surgery. These these look like cosmetic surgery photos. Before, after. Yeah. She's gone and got surgery on her nose. Um, yeah, so she considered her nose flat. Oh, not flat, but collapsed. Yeah, all right. I, I, I probably shouldn't be going through Chinese beauty standards. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, the main difficulty is getting it confused with all the other characters that use that are very similar. Um, there's quite a few. You know you can do it in Pleco, right? Bien, if you look up Bien and click Cha. Yeah, um, this I don't even know exists. I don't think you need to know it. Yeah. Bien, yeah, weave. You can say bien gu shi or bien bien ji. Um, oh, hai yo bien ji. Bien ji is like editor, right? It's this one. Bien ji, right? Bien ji, gai bien. No, this is gai bien. I did not know that word. Bien ji, yeah. Pien yi pien numen, yeah. Um, Bien. What? I went to no. I went to Shanghai. I, I saw a novel. I saw a novel. I always get those mixed up. Pian. Yeah, pian. This is like towards one side. It usually refers to like pian jian, prejudice. Pian xiang, preferences. Um, pian pian hao. Yeah, also preferences. Pian xiang. Or pian xiang yu. I'm inclined towards. Uh, I'm like partial towards uh, pasta. I like pasta. Pian, this is pian ren. Yeah, pian ren. Be a pian more. Swindle cheat. Pian. No, I don't know. I don't know this one. Pian. Uh, this this pian. No, I don't know this one. Pian pian fu the pian. Um, this one you don't see outside the word pian fu. <laughs> Bien Fu is bat. Um, that one I don't know. That one I don't know. No. No, I don't know that one. Um, yeah, why didn't Pu Bien come up? Pu Bien. And there's also this one. <laughs> pu Bien de Bien. Oh, is it really, is it really fourth tone? Pu Bien. You sure to do it, ma? Okay, pull bien. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. Main difficulty with this word is there's so many other characters to confuse it with. Xi yang, um, setting sun. 
Okay, I always get these mixed up. There's so many different ways of expressing like dawn, dusk, sunrise, sunset in Chinese. Xi yang, okay, yang is sun, so it's going to be a noun meaning sun. Xi is setting, right? You got jiao xi, jiao xi. Jiao is the morning, xi is evening, right? Jiao xi. Jiao xi. Um, Jiao. Okay, Jiao is morning, Xi is evening. Jiao Xi. Okay, Xi Yang is evening sun. Yeah, setting sun. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah, Kui, Kui Shuo, Yu Luo. Yu Luo is sunset. Yeah, Zotian and Jelly, the Yu Luo, Fei Chang Mei Li. Okay, um, I think that's okay. The, the difficulty here is that there's so many um, so many other words that are related, and it's very easy to get mixed up between sunset and sunrise. Liu yeah. Shen. <clears throat> Liu Shen is kind of... Um, yeah, it's this, to look out, to be careful. Like, pay attention, this sort of thing. Be attentive. Um, Liu Shen... I don't really know what that means. Um, oh, okay, so be careful of this person. Because I don't use it in my output, I don't really know. Xin, yeah, xin. I would, I would say or or something like that. Uh, uh, okay, so it is, it's not just be attentive, it's something bad might happen. Um, uh, yeah, for the Changzhou. What? Maybe this is a typo. Oh, Jiao Xia. Because it's big, because it's yao. I see this, I saw bu yao. No, it's not bu yao. It's xia, jiao xia, yao duo liu xian. <laughs> okay. So it is take care, be mindful that so, if you don't be mindful, uh, something bad could happen, etc. etc. Liu xian. Mm, xiao xin liu xin zhu yi. Yeah. Okay. Dalie, uh, Dalie is uh, to go hunting. Um, it's a verb. Um, lie is lie pertains to hunting. Um, lie is short for show lie, right? Show lie. Oh, show lie. Oh, okay. Dalie, show lie. They're the same thing, it seems. Show lie. I'm going to jot that down. And I'm going to jot down that show is fourth tone, because I got that wrong just now. Show. Um, yeah. What's this? Oh, da lie chu fan. Yeah, this is, um, you, you rely on hunting to eat. Maybe chu fan. Maybe it should be sheng sun rather than chu fan, but anyway. Uh, next, bu gu. Bu gu. Um, it's, bu gu is not pay attention to, kind of literally. It's like, 不顾一切, 不顾, um, 人们的看法, 
It's like, I don't care. I'm going to do this whether or not something ha uh, something happens. Um, 不顾, 不顾后果, yeah, disregarding the consequences. Consequences, small consequences. Um, I'm still going to do it. Well, 不顾, uh, 后果, consequences, small consequences. <laughs> 不顾事实, disregarding facts. Yeah, facts, schmacks. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can do it again. Uh, oh, oh, it doesn't work. Uh, it's like, yeah, I often encounter I use that one a lot actually as well. I don't care about anything else. I'm going to do this. Yeah. Um, to disregard all negative con uh, considerations. Yeah. 不顾一切，他不顾一切的呃下决心要赢。啊，不好意思，这样，他不顾一切的下决呃决心要赢。Yeah, uh, uh, recklessly determined to win, to win at all costs. 他将呃不顾一切的呃保住头牌位置。Yeah, he wanted the 头牌。Top, wage top middle place, and she will go to do that. She will do it regardless of anything. Okay, we'll go. Um, okay, counts as a verb, but yeah, I don't know. You don't. Well, no, I don't. I don't think you. Hmm, not go to go uh同伴有病,他独自走了。Yeah, uh, yeah, I think almost always it's um, emphasizing that something you should care about, you don't care about, right? Um,不够别人,yeah,我不够别人,听音乐,在那个公交车上听音乐。就是干扰大家，但是我不在乎。嗯，呃，不顾，呃，不顾大局。What is 大局? Oh, 大局 is like the general situation. Like, maybe it's like, uh, you don't really care about the general situation. I guess, <laughs> um, the overall situation. 不顾，呃，个人安危。Yeah, so you don't care about. Personal safety or lack thereof. Yeah. Despite the facts. Yeah. So it seems like, yeah, in spite of. In spite of is okay. Where are we? Jungja. Uh, Jungja is to struggle. We saw that on an earlier example. In this textbook, right? I remember this example because I acted it out. Yeah, 挣扎。呃，那只小鸟做了一番最后的挣扎，慢慢的躺在呃那里不动了。Yeah, it's a really sad story. I remember this very vivid, very easy to remember. However, it's not exactly the nicest story of all time, is it? So it's a little bird. A birdlet is a birdlet a word. I'm going to dictionalize that word. Uh, a little bird, um, a chick. Does chick apply? Okay, I'm getting off topic. The little bird is struggling and then stops moving, and the bird died. Jungja. This one, Jungja. It's a physical, in that, for the bird, it was a physical struggle. Um, it can also mean like struggle against like oppression, I think, as well. Um, where are we? Jungja zai suwang xian xiang. I don't know what that means. On the line of death. death. Pin ming jungja. Yeah, pin ming jungja. This is a common co location. This is struggle for life. Jungja jie wo zuo qi lai. I don't know what that means. It's like struggle to sit properly. No. Oh. 
Some of that. Jungja. Oh, what's going on? What do I push that one? Okay, no. Jungja. Jungja. Uh, Jin Yang, Ji Cheng, uh, Ho Bai Tuo, Kunan, Bai Tuo Kunan, I think this one. Ji Cheng, Ji Cheng, Ho Bap, Kunan. Ah, Zheng Jia, Zhe, Zuo Qi Lai. Okay, so this is Ji Cheng. This is another meaning, Zheng Jia. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I almost always see this one. To the point where I would not even know that that's a meaning. Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, it's Sir Wang Xian. You can see where I got the examples from. Uh, okay, obviously this Xian Xiang has some meaning, not just online. Um, oh, on the verge of starvation. Okay. Xian uh, <laughs> It's not xian shang, it's ji wo xian shang. Jue wan de, jue wan de zheng jia. Yeah, a desperate struggle. Pin si zheng jia. Can you struggle over adversity? You can struggle over adversity. Can you struggle over oppression? Using this word. Let's, let's ask. Can oh. you... <laughs> uh, Use uh, Zheng Jia to describe struggling over oppression and spelling oppression wrong. Oh, ah, oh, it's double P. No, no, no. Okay, uh, yes, you can use Zheng Jia as. Okay. Uh, Okay, they struggled to struggle for freedom. Don't <laughs> you strive for freedom? This is kind of also struggle, right? To struggle for. Don't um, you to vie for? Maybe fight for. To fight for. Struggled. They struggled fighting for freedom. Yeah, maybe that's a better translation. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think that's fine. This struggling for freedom. Oh, actually, let's go back. The dictionary says Zheng Ya can also mean Zhi Cheng. I'm a bit Ban Xin Ban Yi. Does it really mean this? Ban Xin Ban Yi. Yeah. No, that's the normal meaning of struggle, not prop up. Alright. I think I'm going to I'm going to um maybe not declare it wrong, but just go. For my purposes, I'm going to think Zhengjia means Bai Tuo Kunan, like to cast off difficulties. And maybe the Ji Cheng, do you need Ji Cheng? Is not really so relevant. Like, is there any other example here? These are all like struggle as you would expect. Trace. What? Yeah, this is like struggled to get up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm. I think it's very similar to English. Oh, okay. What should I do? Whoa, she didn't work quite. Really, I've still still got words to do. Oh well, maybe I'm a bit slow. Um, swan, swan. Ah uh, yeah, swan to scurry. I like to scurry. I always think of a little mouse scurrying. The little mouse sees a cat and it scurries away. Swan, swan. Um, however, 
Yeah, it also has a like a non-literal meaning. I think it's also used non-literally. Fine. Uh, Luan Pao. Oh, okay. Luan Pao is a good good definition. Luan Pao. It's like run because it, because you're scared or something like this. You don't have time to think about. Oh, where am I going? You just run. <laughs> um, Tao Wang. Yeah. Han Bian Yi. Tao Wang. Fleeing from home. Yeah, this is like the figurative meaning. Um, yeah, it's like in English actually. Scurry. Um, like rats deserting a ship or something like this. <clears throat> um, Bao Tou Shu Chuan. What on earth is that? Bao Tou. It's Chong Yu. <clears throat> Bao Tou Shu Chuan. Bao Tou. Okay, I'm going to pick another one. Liu Chuan. Oh, Tao Chuan. Yeah, Tao Chuan. I, I've encountered Tao Chuan before. Tao Chuan. It's flea. Um, it's not. We, we, yeah, it emphasizes the lack of order. Tao Chuan. Gai Dong. Chuan Gai. No, I don't know this word. I did not know it had this meaning. This is what I think it means. Luan Pao. Yeah. Tang Huang Tao Chuan. What is this? Ah, uh, Tang Tang Huang. Yeah, all right. I, I don't think I need that. Dong Tao Xi Chuan. Yeah, this is the Dong Pla Xi Pla the Yu Fa Jie Gao. Dong Jiang Xi Wang is the canonical example. Dong Jiang Xi Wang. This is Dong Tao Xi Chuan fleeing in all directions to scuttle. Yeah. Okay, this is the most important meaning. Oh. It's fine. Do you want to have a look at a picture and then we'll say bye bye? Swan. Oh, not that one. I open these in case you need it. Swan. Or in case I need it to make the video. Where uh, where can I see some twining? I do not see twining. Maybe I should not look at these pictures. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Uh, these pictures I am going to shut off. <laughs> um, I'm thinking like I'm envisaging like mice suddenly being discovered by a cat and fleeing in all sorts of directions. Fun. Yeah. For me, I'm pretty sure for people in general, it helps to have a kind of mental image. Um, of what? Or whenever you encounter the word "swan," you'll think mice like going in all sorts of directions it's hard to keep track holy ah show see the show hope in tian teacher since i do she uh shang wu Okay,